basically why this has been so difficult with her is because she's stubborn about getting out of her own head and being motivated to listen. Hi guys, we are here today with Paisley, little Paisley. She is a four month old dachshund who's received no training. She's here for a board and train. We have been mostly focusing on potty training, crate training, doing that routine. And now we're gonna start with some obedience training. And I just wanna go over where to start with a puppy who seems like she's just kind of all over the place, doesn't know where to start, and especially with a dachshund who's stubborn. Have a puppy start on a leash. I don't know why so many people don't think about this as a starting point. You know, when they try to have a training session with their puppy who has no attention span, the puppy is just like, if I had her off the leash, I mean, she would be running over there, trying to play with the toy, sniffing this, sniffing this. So take away that opportunity for them to get distracted and start with them on the leash so that they're forced to focus on you. So this really helps them with that initial steps with the attention span. You definitely in the beginning have to show the dog that the only option is to focus on you and have an attention span. Start here and see what, see what she knows. Seems like she knows her name. I don't think she knows how to sit. So I'm just gonna put the treat up here. Something to just remember with the treats, especially when you have a puppy who seemingly has no attention span. Yeah. Almost. I get questions like this all the time is that I cannot get my puppy to focus even on the leash right here. The dog is like sniffing everything, sniffing everywhere, and I just cannot get my dog's focus. So you want to get to a point where you can get the dog's focus. So if it's because you're using treats and a toy, you just want to start at a point where you have focus. So right now, I have full 100% focus up here because I have a treat in her mouth every single second. Otherwise, if I didn't have this, it's full 100% focus down here. So get to the point where you have that full 100% focus with the thing that you are using to motivate her. Dachshunds don't like to sit or lay down because they're so close to the ground, so it's like awkward awkward so get to that point first use whatever it takes the toy the treat whatever it takes to get the full focus then once you have the focus you can start weaning off of this and i'll show you guys how to do that once i can get her to sit the first time so remember this is so important especially with dachshunds when you start the training so only saying a command once is a golden rule of mine and look i'm still just trying to sit here and lure her to the sitting position on average most people say commands three to five times before the dog does it dachshunds are notoriously one of the most stubborn breeds there are so you want to do everything just to set up the dog for success right away and break that stubbornness. So I've only told her SIT once this entire time, however many minutes I've been sitting here luring her. Okay, this is a really good question because sometimes depending on the dog, like dachshunds do this a lot, they're, it's hard to get them to sit that first time or lay down. This is something I tell a lot of people is that some dogs don't like to do it on cold, hard surfaces. So it's easier to teach the command on a blanket, a rug, a bed, and then get her familiar with that command. So this is still the same exercise, so I'm still not going to say the command again. Paisley! Yes! Yes! So see right here, she's doing it. She doesn't really know that she's doing it or what she's doing. It's she's just in that body position. So I'm going to reward her for that. So now I'm gonna take her over here and it will probably take a few more times of her doing it on the bed and understanding what the command means before she'll do it over here. But I'm just gonna start here each time because why not? Oh, okay, let's go over here again. Girl, Paisley, yes! Okay, now it's a new, um, new exercise, so I'll say it again. Paisley, sit. Paisley. 
her attention goes the other way after I had asked her to do a command, I'll say her name again. So you can say the name, any kind of sound, anything other than the command again to refocus her attention. And while so many people get frustrated with this type of behavior, like, oh, she's just looking everywhere. Oh my God, I can't get her to focus. I just know how good this is for her because it's prolonging her attention span. So although I keep having to ask her to refocus on me, we're making strides, you know, her attention span being up here as opposed to just being all over the place constantly. And I think so many people when they're trying to get their dog's attention, okay, let's go up here, give up too fast on trying to get it. Yes! Good girl! and they might ask their dog to focus on them like once or twice, and then they just give up. So having this persistent, just like you have to look up here, up here until you do it is really, really good for a dog, especially a puppy who needs to work on that. I'm telling her the clicker word right away right now, telling her yes is the clicker word that we use. So I'm saying that instantly and pairing it with a treat right away. And in a little bit, when she starts to understand this command, I'm gonna show you how to prolong the dog to hold that command, that sit command using the clicker word. But right now, sit. And she's definitely a difficult one to teach how to sit, but I'm glad so I can show you guys what to do. So we're gonna go back over here. Yes! It's crazy when you shift to a softer and like warmer surface, how quickly the dog will do it. So usually it takes the dog, so now I'm gonna tell her right here. Paisley, sit. Yes! So usually it takes the dog actually comprehending, oh, sit means butt down, um, like actually understanding the command, learning it on here first to be able to do it here. So if you're still in the luring phase, oftentimes the dog won't do it on here because their mind is like, oh, I can't put my butt down. But once they actually know that sit command, all she thinks is like, okay, butt down, I get my reward. Doesn't even think about her butt touching it. <gasps> yes! That seemed like she definitely connected it. So let's try. Paisley, sit. So testing her to see if she will just kind of do it on command. I'm not trying to not lure her as much. Just kind of showing it to her right here, what I have, and then doing the hand gesture. But it doesn't seem to be clicking with her. So I'm gonna go back to the luring, but she probably, like I just said, won't do on the hard surface. Oh, yes! But she did. I was gonna say she probably won't do it on the hard surface, but she did, now that she's understanding what she's being rewarded for. Good girl! She's knowing what I'm asking her to do, but she would rather be elsewhere. So I'm just gonna be very persistent and this is your only option right here. And not say it again during this, nope. Make sure to, when a dog is in this state to hold the leash you know, close to them. I see so many people giving her the whole leash so that she can go over there and sniff, but you want her to know that her only option is listening right here. And again, try not to be frustrated during this and try to I mean, I just know how good this is for a dog. And I'm like, the longer a dog is stubborn and the more that, you know, she tries to not listen, the more she needs this training. So now that she's done it once on the hard surface, she really doesn't have an excuse to not. This is where it's very easy to give up, but make sure that you don't because this is very important to break through this stubbornness right here. If you allow her to get away with this not listening, she's just gonna keep testing and she's gonna know that the longer that she puts it off, the more likely you are to give up. So you just need to switch that thinking and make sure that she knows when I ask her to do something, she's going to have to do it. So the faster she does it, the faster she can get back to whatever she wants to do. Okay, come. Sit. Yes. She, look at her. She's like so weird about not wanting to put her butt. Yes. Good girl. So because she's being so, getting in her own head so much when there's not the cushion there, I'm just going to do a bunch of um, sits with this like half there. I'm going to try to not lure her as much. So I'm going to do... Yes. 
nice. I didn't ask her to do it, but she just did it on her own on the hard floor. So I'm going to reward for that. Sit. <gasps> yes, Paisley. So now that she's getting the command and understanding what I want her to do, I'm trying not to lure and just do the hand gesture, which I use this for sit. Start with the hardest thing, but if we need to move. <gasps> yes, good girl. And then if you need to move back to the luring, you can do that. But you want to try to wean off of that luring with the tree as fast as possible. Because obviously the goal is that I want to be standing up, tell her sit, and I don't have to bend over and just lure her each time. So basically why this has been so difficult with her is because she's, yes, she's stubborn one about getting out of her own head and being motivated to listen. So it's hard to even get through to a dog who has that kind of temperament. And then when she knows what she's supposed to do, she's stubborn about doing what she would rather do, just not listening. So it's hard to get through to a puppy who, who is stubborn in both ways like that. We want to make sure that she's listening to multiple people and responding to her name and coming when called. So I'm gonna have Morgan help me and we're gonna sit across the room and do a recall exercise, leaving this leash on her so that we can grab her if she's not listening and call her to come. So we'll do Paisley come and then each of us ask her to sit. Paisley come. Yes. Wow, that was really good. Paisley. <laughs> super important to acknowledge how long that just took Paisley and how patient Morgan was and letting Paisley know this is your only option. If it takes that long now, the next time it's going to take shorter and a little bit shorter to the point where she's doing it instantly. So don't give up on those first few times. Also something to acknowledge when you start stringing along multiple commands that Morgan did great was she told her Paisley come. Once she came to her, she didn't treat her for the come, but she said yes. So make sure it's very clear, like Paisley come, yes. Paisley sit, yes. And then once we do lay down, yes. Everything is very clear to the dog. So many people, once they start stringing along commands, just blur it all together. And the dog is like, well, I did just come, didn't I? Wasn't that a sit? So make sure you are at least giving that clicker word with each command. Paisley come. And make sure that you're super strict from the start. So. Each time that was like maybe a three quarter sit for like half a second. Same thing with that. Yes. See, she was really, really trying to test there. Like, oh, can I get away with just like half a sit, three quarter sit? Make sure you're not rewarding for that. Like a lot of people don't understand why their dog only like half sits for like a second. It's because you're rewarding for that. So be very strict with what you want from her, a full sit and only reward for that. So it was, you know, if I would have rewarded her for that half sit, that's what she would try to get away with every single time. Good girl, that was faster. Paisley, come. Yes! Paisley, sit. And something just to add that you never want to do is push her butt down. I see a lot of people do that when they get frustrated. One, it doesn't teach the dog to do anything on their own you're doing it and two it's really bad on their hips to do that the thing that i see here is like people with the hand that morgan's holding the leash right now like grab the dog's face with it and are like trying to get them to do it i mean you can lure them with the treat but to really make this work the dog has to look at you respond to the command on their own and i would say if you're so frustrated at this point what would be the best thing to do than letting her get away with it is try to find a new treat, something more enticing for her. Use a use the bigger treat that a lot of the times if you have like little pieces, show them the big treat that might motivate the dog. But we're not going to switch treats because we have a lot of patience. This is what we do. But um, just to know at this point, it's better to go and get something more enticing and make her do it on her own than like forcing her to do it by pushing her down. And that doesn't count. She's like itching. She sat down, so she's not really listening. Where you're sitting there forever, you don't have the time. 
to keep working with her, then you should put her back in her crate. And then next time she don't take her out until you have time to keep up with it again and work on it. So letting her know her option is she can be in her crate or she can listen instead of just like letting her get away with this and then letting her have free time because then there's absolutely no motivation to ever listen to you if she gets playtime, she gets what she wants no matter if she listens or not. And this is, you know, this is a very stubborn personality that we're talking about. Most dogs don't take this long, but in general to introduce somebody else to the training right away like this so that the dog learns to respond to other people as well, just so that the dog gets used to listening to everybody, not just me, so that then when the dog goes home, they're not listening to anybody else. So we make sure to do that and something just to incorporate right away. If the dog isn't following your direction because of outside distractions, you can definitely move. And I mean, you can do this anytime, just change up the environment and move a little bit and try to, to reset and do it again. By reset, I don't mean repeat the command, but just like a new environment. But the stricter and more patient you are, yes! the better right from the start. That's so, so the dog understands that she has to do it no matter what. Yes, Paisley, good girl.